ECDL Advanced, PowerPoint, Lesson 6, The Title Master. As well as the Slide Master, PowerPoint provides master slides for every individual slide type. For example, the Title Slide layout controls the appearance of all title slides in the presentation. It allows you to create a different look for your opening slide in your presentation or for any slides that may be used to introduce a new section in the presentation. The slide master should be created first before changing the title master as any formatting changed on the slide master also changes on the title master. We should have the slide master still open in the main area of the screen, which we have right now. Click on the second slide from the top and we'll see that this one is called Title Slide Layout. This is the Title Slide Layout Master. If we click on the text that says click to edit master title style and we want to change the font to Broadway so click on it and we'll change that to Broadway. If you can't find Broadway then use some other distinctive font. We also want to change the font size to 50 points. Now as I have a look at the drop down I've got 48, I've got 54 but I've not got 50. So what we can do is to type this straight into the box and we will then get precisely 50 point text. Next, let's click on the text click to edit master subtitle style, that's this one here, and we're going to change this to Tahoma 36 point. Tahoma and 36 point. Now let's display the view tab and we're going to select normal from the presentation views group. So view and then from the presentation views group we're going to select normal. Make sure we've got the home tab selected what I want to do is to add three new title and content slides. So I'm going to go new slide and we want it to be title and content. Then another new slide, title and content, another new slide, title and content. So now I've got my slide one, I've got my slide two, my slide three and my slide four so that we can identify these slides add a title of title slide to the first slide then move to slide 2 and this time the title wants to be slide 2 then let's move to slide 3 we're going to change the title to slide 3 and finally Slide 4, let's change that one to the title Slide 4. Note the different fonts on the slides that have been defined by the master slides. Custom slide masters can be added. Let's return to the slide master view. So view, slide master. And we wish to insert a new slide master. To do this, we click Insert Layout. The new master is going to be called Custom Layout, as can be seen on the pop up here. But if we prefer, we could rename it. This master is to be used by specific slides only. So, with the new master slide selected, make the background pale green. So we're on slide master, background styles, format background, I want a solid fill and I want it to be green. 
I don't want to apply to all. I'm just going to close the format background window. If we now close the master view, and what I'd like to do is to apply this custom slide master to slide 4 only. So, go along to the slides pane, right click on slide 4, select layout from the shortcut menu, and now you'll find that there is a new custom layout in the panel over here. Click on it. And now we'll find that all formatting from this master is applied to the selected slide. If we click on each slide in turn in the slides pane, slide 1 has the title master applied, slides 2 and 3 have the default slide master, and slide 4 has the custom slide master. Now what I'd like to do is to insert a new slide at the end of the presentation and I want to choose the title and content layout. So if we go to the bottom here you see the red line that appears we can then go new slide and what we'd like to do is to have title and content that's this one here. To conclude this lesson please save the presentation as custom masters and then close it. OK, look forward to seeing you next time when we'll be discussing creating a template. OK, see you then.